Hi YouTube, this is a review video of Weapon Collector Mike's pry bars that are currently available in dmknifeshop.com. Alright, they came last week. This is the box they came in. Royal Mail Customs Declaration. Five pry bar tools. Alright, very cool to get a package from another country. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is the second package I've got from Mike. Very cool. Alright, let's get to the pry bars. Uh, he sent me five, and number one is already sold. So, there are currently four of these pry bars available at dmknifeshop.com. It's on the What's New page. Alright. <clears throat> this is number two. It is a short five and three quarter inch Cubaton style. So you have impact weapon, you know, in extreme cases, <laughs> this will be a deadly weapon, all right? Um, wrist lanyard. So you don't lose it. Um, it is very thick. It's three eighths of an inch thick steel. It's got a uh, nail puller. On this end, it's got a combination can and bottle opener. I haven't actually tried it, but um, I believe it will work quite well. All right, and a big tough screwdriver. Uh, underneath the paracord wrapping are several small tools and Mike made these packages for each one telling you exactly what's inside. Alright, under the paracord there's a lock pick, two tension bars, a hacksaw blade, and a Stanley utility knife blade. Alright, all that is in here. Yeah, very cool. Very well made. This will survive a nuclear strike, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, very tough. Last a lifetime survival tool. Alright, if you want something a little longer, a little more leverage, and not so thick, this is pry bar number three. You can see it comes with a little waterproof button compass. Yeah. Focus. Anyway, it's a little compass. Um, slightly bent or prying. This one does not have a nail puller slot, but this will bust open a lot of doors. You need emergency access. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very tough. Three sixteenths inch thick steel. In this end, combination can and bottle opener again. Flat head screwdriver. Paracord handle underneath the handle. Uh, lock pick, two tension bars, Stanley knife blade. 80 millimeter hacksaw number three all right number four another short coupon style pry bar five and three quarter inches long oh this one is eight and a half inches by the way they're all, they're each about an inch wide roughly eight and a half inches long this is five and three quarter inches long this is number four. This comes with a slightly larger compass attached to the lanyard. Nail puller pry bar tip. These are incredibly well made. Very tough tools. Um, this is a bottle opener but not a can opener. It doesn't have the little uh, sharpened piece to, to open a can. Uh, screwdriver blade, 
underneath the paracord on the handle. Lockpick, a uh, small craft blade, two tension bars, and you have the compass on the lanyard. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome tool. Number five. Another long one. This is eight and three quarter inches long. Pry bar, slightly bent to give you more leverage. Does not have a nail puller. Um, this one has combination can and bottle opener, uh, flathead screwdriver, and a sharpened hook for cutting paracord, string, whatever. Yeah, very cool. Um, it is the only one that has the sharpened hook. Underneath the paracord handle. Lockpick, two tension bars, Stanley blade, hacksaw, and a wood saw blade. Yeah. Very nice tools. Mike, you are a craftsman. I love the quality of the things you make. Very, very good stuff. Alright, if you're interested in one of these for your bailout bag or in your car or whatever. Or just because Weapon Collector made them, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. Uh, he wasn't able to stamp his initials in because the steel is too hard. Um, but I believe the next batch he has found a way to initial them. So, there you go. Urban Survival Pry Bars, made by Mike Weapon Collector. If you're interested, check out dmknifeshop.com. These are on the What's New page. Price is $37 US. Uh, free shipping in the USA. If you live in Canada, add $3 for shipping. If you live in the UK or any other country, uh, add an, an additional $5 for shipping. The only country I will not ship to is Italy. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with their postal system, but a lot of packages seem to get lost. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.